Dan Walker, 45, took to social media over the weekend to wish his BBC co-star well following his departure from Football Focus after 25 years. Taking to Twitter, in view of his 758,000 followers, Dan bid farewell to his always insightful BBC colleague Mark Lawrenson, adding, I have so many wonderful memories of working with Lauro. Always insightful, always funny, always kind, always loyal. Great broadcaster and a great bloke. The BBC Sport Twitter account said, Farewell, Lauro. We wish you all the best. Dan shared BBC Sport's tweet and added his own message, before posting a short video clip in an emotional tribute to the former professional footballer. In the video clip, the BBC Breakfast star said, I'd just like to take this opportunity to pay tribute to Mark Lawrenson who, I believe, has had his last program as a BBC pundit today. What a legend you are, Lauro. He continued, speaking about how he had fond memories of when he would go to football matches with his father, as a child, and see Mark play. I never saw you play until right at the end of your career when I was very young, but my dad told me how good you were. There are so many people who will miss you. Dan concluded his message by describing Mark as a top bloke. Dan announced in April that he would be leaving his BBC breakfast role. His last stint on the Big Red Sofa will be Tuesday, May 17, and it seems that Dan won't be missing the early starts. He moves to Channel 5 News later this month. On Sunday evening, he took to Twitter to share a screenshot of a number of alarms he had set. He wrote that, although he will miss so much about BBC Breakfast, he wasn't going to miss the early starts. He tweeted, I'm going to miss so much about BBC Breakfast but, only two more days of this. See you in the morning need to bring some cakes in for my last day on Tuesday. Last week, Dan shared that he had forgotten to set an alarm for the first time in six years. Dan told his followers about his blunder. He said, my last ever Wednesday on hashtag breakfast and guess what? I forgot to set my alarms for the first time in six years. Thankfully the body clock kicked in and I wasn't too late. I hope you can join us today.